Welcome back everybody for Thingamabob Thursday. Today we are taking our first look at a new game I just bought recently. That is Novus Inceptio. This is a survival sandbox game that's supposed to have an interesting twist where most of the normal survival elements kind of fade to the background because you're more focused on other things. So let's get started and give this game a look. Okay, so here we are in what appears to be a very futuristic type place. Uh, okay, so I can left click to heal, but I'm actually already at full health, so we're not going to worry about that to move. All right, so yeah, normal movement keys, moving around, and wow, there's a lot of other people here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like I'm the only one that's been woken up, or if these are clones, because it looks like they're identical to me. Oh, I can open. This is my bank. Uh, okay, and I got... Alright, I'm in cursor mode, which means I can select stuff. So we got water, we got fishing, but I probably can't fish because there's no water here. Uh, foraging, to find vegetables or fruit, uh, and then botanize. Finding herbs, seeds, and other raw materials. You think that could be one thing rather than two separate things. But, uh, okay, create a clone. I can't do that. Uh, can't do anything with this, it seems. Shop. Let, let's go shopping. Can I? Yeah, let's, let's shop for something. Buy blueprint claim land papers. For All right, so I have... Well, appears to be no currency to use. So I guess we're just going to continue with this tutorial thing. And, uh, looks like the only thing I can do is go through this door here. Uh, well, it says I'm in the safe temple. So I'm assuming that's what this is supposed to be is a temple. Uh, can't get up that way. Maybe that's something they're going to add later. Okay, so we got a nice open area. Now this game, from what I've read online, is supposed to be very ARC survival-like. Uh, okay, press one to botanize. I, I got onion seeds! Uh, nothing there. Okay, let's try this. There is something here. Uh, I, Manita Mascaria seed? Uh, come on, can I? That, alright. Alright. Seems to be a little iffy about where I'm standing that I have to be kind of right on top of it in a certain way for it to work. Uh, okay, I got a branch. That, that kind of works. I can, you know, swing at something. Uh, raspberry and strawberries. All right. Got at least some food. Uh, nothing there. We got to get one more. I need th two out of three. So nothing. Come on. Give me something. All right, cranberry and blueberry, and I've got my foraging thing. I gives you your inventory, and this, I guess, is like the, the bank storage. We've got 5,000 kilograms of storage capacity, and then we have 37.5 kilograms we could carry with us. Uh, all right, right-click to use. We're going to eat one. So now I've eaten. All right, press four, drink some water, okay? Uh... Go to the waypoint. All right, let's go. Stand in water. And I see I can uh, press primary action key or E to drink. So I can just drink here. Get my thirst completely satisfied. So I'm satisfied for 50 seconds. Uh, fill with water. There we go. I must be standing in water. I'm pretty sure I'm standing in water when I step forward. Oh, it worked. Okay. Uh, I guess drag it back here. Yeah. All right. Let's see, uh, so now it wants me to drink straight from the water. Okay, get stones from the rock using forage. Well, we're going to forage, and hey, so I can push two to forage, but I can also just aim at it and right click. I guess that's for when I don't have to be standing on something. Uh, I need branches, and I've already got branches, or I picked up one branch, and wasn't even in a tree, and hey, there's a box, some kind of box thing. Alright, cola, revival scroll, instantly revive after you die, whoa, wait, wait, it's also, cannot be used for death due to old age. 
Oh, I am 18 years old up here in the upper left. I'm male, 18 years old, generation one. That's different. That makes me think I'm supposed to, like, we're supposed to die and have other generations later. Uh, let's dump the cola. I got water. I don't want to risk. If there's anything I've learned from playing the forest, drinking soft drinks is not going to help me as much. So we could, yeah, dump stuff in there. All right, I got one branch finally. I got a cedar branch, and I had to forage right by the tree for it. Oh, pick up, pick up some uh, mushrooms. It looks like. Oh, I finally got my third branch. Now it's telling me to get leaves from a tree or shrub after I've already done that. I've sat here and got so many leaves and such, and now, all right, pick fifteen leaves. See, I could pick leaves. And it's not giving me an option for that. I can't look up high enough for it. It's not giving me, like, an option to do that. It looks like an apple tree anyway. All right, so I finally got five leaves in one spot just by foraging. So, uh, yeah, that, that's a little strange that I had to just keep running around until I got it. Open crafting menu with X. We're going to go basic crafting. And we're going to choose... Well, it just says basic crafting, I'm assuming... Yes, tools and weapons. So crude axe, which we need raw stone, a branch we have. We need fiber. And, okay, we click on fiber. It gives us an option to go into the next recipe, which I do like that, that you don't have to keep jumping around to make other things. Uh, okay, I think I made it. Yes. Uh, no, not that. Let's see. Uh, there you go. We'll do that. Toolbar. So if I do that, now I have an axe, a crude axe. On my side and aha now I can cut the tree down to get some branches if it doesn't follow me that is get me another uh, rustle of mushroom yeah give me the branches come on there we go all right so I'm at this obelisk and all it's got is pick rune fragment so I'm doing that Seems weird I could just pick a rune right off of it. But okay, what's, what's we got in here? Because I'm above the other area, and that leads down. Maybe that leads down into an area that was blocked off over here. That's why it's blocked off. I have to take the, the other way around. Ooh. So that's got a whole underground thing. Mine... I, all right, so I need a pickaxe. Copper ore. You know what? Let's see. Uh, can I do a pickaxe? Raw stone. Yes, I have enough raw stone. Let's do that. Handle. I should have enough. I don't have any branches. Ah! So I'm still having problems finding uh, branches. Apparently, chopping down the trees does not actually give me branches. It still has a separate you know, do this to get branches type thing, and I can't select it. I don't know how to get that option selected if I'm missing a certain item for doing that, which I don't think I would need a certain item for picking branches. All right, we just killed a rabbit, and it's got pick meat and pick pelt, and I can't do either one of those. Let's see. Uh, knife. Hammer. Nope, no, that seems to work. So, yeah, I don't know how to get that. I mean, I would assume the knife would be the one to get the pelt by skinning the rabbit, but apparently that's not the case. Got some deer. Oh, I'm in a safe zone around the obelisk, which is nice. Found another box with a empty bottle. And we've got another thing over here papyrus okay oil and blueprint big barrel and ancient mushroom seed I'm not sure I would need a blueprint for making a seed like how do I make an ancient mushroom seed like what what's the components for that the, a mushroom and I got 
it's got that thing where if you have a tooltip hovered open, it might not close with that menu. Same thing I've seen in numerous other games. So, yeah, that's not a good thing. Hopefully, they'll fix that soon. Another rune fragment. We got something else over here. Going to check it out. Some kind of platform. Let's see. Abandoned fireplace. Collect all the mushrooms. Something happens. All right, here we go. Last one. Oh, fireplace turned on. Okay. And uh, I guess I'm at fireplace, so I guess that means cooking. We can make tea. We can make soups, vegetables, and soup mushroom. Cooked mushrooms. Any herb, water. Okay. We cook the mushrooms. Let's see. Got to use water. I don't want to sacrifice any of the water I've got because I only have a few bottles. And I've got an empty bottle in my inventory now, but I'd have to go all the way down there to fill it. And what is this? Something glowy, glowy in the distance. We're going to check this out. Okay, so... Oh! Alright, so I just walked in the area loading anomaly and... Wow, okay, I am suddenly in the desert. Uh. What happened? I am in a desert type th canyon thing? All right, looking at this, I'm waiting for King Kong to come running out from all these rock formations to stomp me. Wow, that is some big scorpions. Maybe I uh, teleported to Age of Conan. I don't know. And no one. No, 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 no. Uh, why, why are you doing this to me? Yeah, you can't get me. Whoa. So big lizards here. What? This worries me a bit. Like, this does not feel like it's in the right place in the game. Like. This is going to be way too difficult for this area. Ah, it's like gigantic lizards. And oh, he's still following me. Yeah, this feels out of place. And now I have noticed there is an exit anomaly thing up here. So I'm going to use that. And oh, we are back. All right. So uh, let's see. Oh. Building area. I think I want to go that way. I want to go to a building area. Because let's see, it's got B for build. And construction here is not allowed. So apparently, you can't just build anywhere. You have to go to certain places to build. Oh. Oh, I can see the, the anomalies lighting up on the map. That's cool. And then there's a ruin over here. Along with, apparently, there is a road over that way that I have missed. I wonder if it's like the speed at which those lights are floating around, if that means something with the, the anomaly. Like, does it take me to different places if the lights are going to different speed or if they're a different color? Uh, ruins. Okay, yeah, they are ruined. Uh, require a pickaxe. I can't make the pickaxe. I haven't found any branches. Oh, I got a branch from that. How about that? One single branch off of that thing. Yes! I can make a pickaxe! And I have a pickaxe! Alright, let's see. Uh, Mine silver ore. That's what I want to see. Mining ore. Now I wish I could go all the way back more easily. Mine ancient crystal. I'm not sure how I know automatically it's ancient. But, okay, we go with it. So I have refilled my water meter and I filled up my new empty bottle that I got. And we're going to start heading this way because you have a cave. We still got good ways to go and it is... Nighttime is coming fast. And what's funny is it's still the first day. But my age has gone from 18 to 24. So apparently I'm going to die of old age in a matter of days. Okay, so I've come across yet another obelisk. So apparently those are going to be pretty common around the area, which means either the roof fragments are used for some kind of crafting 
or it's something that you gotta piece something together from. And I am getting closer and closer to that building area. Nice big flat area too. That might be why it's specifically set as a build area in that it is perfectly flat and perfect for you to build in. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so, uh, okay, I'll start. there I am. All right, so I can build up here. I have a, that's kind of cool looking. What what I got here? Actually, yeah, that's like a full-blown house. So, yeah, all right, we'll go with that. And I guess that's it. How, do I apply it a certain way? Escape the, you know, finish it. So, yeah, all right. So, it started. Uh, Let's see, I need... Oh, yeah, all right. I don't know. This is not helping me much. Or got it's really bright. I love that it actually has interacts with the environment. It's not just there that it actually glows and you see it glowing on the environment. And we're back here again. All right, some iron ore, which I know I'm going to need to get the nails going. Maybe I get a bunch of stuff up here that will actually help me with building the house. I'm getting worried about how fast my age is progressing. I'm going to be old age dead before I get a house built is what I'm afraid of. I also noticed, avoiding the glitching there, that there is what appears to be another anomaly thing over this way. So I wonder if that is another way for me to get back. Or if that takes me to a completely different place. That's like, you know, here's one anomaly. Now I can find my way in here and take another anomaly that takes me somewhere else completely. But, you know, there's this anomaly conveniently placed right here. And oh, all it does is take me right back. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't take me back, like, to some other place. It just takes me right back to wherever I came in at. And there's another one already over there, just glowing away, taunting me. Even though I have nothing I can gain from it. So I think that's going to be it. I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. I mean, plenty of stuff. There's still a lot of things I don't know how to get to work right. Uh, but this is definitely an interesting game. I'm definitely going to be, you know, doing more with this. As time goes on, try to figure out some more about this. And it is an early access in development game, as it says at the very top of the screen in the middle. Uh, so there's going to be constant updates and new things being added to this game. So we'll definitely be keeping tabs on this game to see what gets added to it, what gets changed, and how the gameplay evolves with it. But that's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like the game, I'm going to put a link below in the description so you can check it out on Steam. Uh, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, hit subscribe and tick the notification bell so you keep up with my content during the week. You also follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Keep up with everything or just to say hi to me. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about the game. If you play it yourself, if you got any you know, beginner tips for me. I'd love to have them. Uh, also, you know, hey, just let me know what you think of the game. Do you think it shows promise uh, or you think it's uh, not going to turn out that great? Love to hear from you. But again, that's it for today's episode. I'm your host, Mr. Spicy, as always. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.